you have caught me in my bathroom. Super small, I can oh, touch each wall. It's probably one of the smallest bathrooms I've ever been in. It is lacking functionality, storage, and of course, beauty. So the bones are fairly good. There is a small white vanity, a builder's style white tub, and of course three of the walls and the floor are tiled in a one foot square kind of marble look. There's not much I can do about that of course because it's a rental. On this wall we have a light tunnel. The door is fairly new so uh, I think its neutral palette is probably pretty good but we are going to play with the ceiling, we're going to play with some fabrics and we're going to do a DIY for storage and for decor above the toilet. Here I am in front of the builder's grade mirror and storage medicine cabinet and you can see by the interior the plastic shelves are bending and it's quite full and every morning when I come in it's a surprise whether something is going to come jumping out at me. To the left of this cabinet we're going to build a storage unit. Guys I'm in the probably the only area of the bathroom that can be really decorated and provide the storage that I need. So here is where the DIY is going to go. Of course you can see that the ceiling is white. We're going to play up that a little bit and of course we have a standard single bulb utilitarian type light fixture. I'm going to start with the DIY. Let's do this. Here I am in my living room and I'm standing with a frame of a standard IKEA bookshelf. It happens to fit above my toilet perfectly. So this is going to be a wall mounted DIY and we're going to do um, a little bit of tweaking to it to make it look spectacular but it's going to solve all my problems. We have saved so much money in terms of buying a custom unit with a little bit of ingenuity. We're going to have something beautiful for the bathroom at a very little cost. Hi guys I'm on the top of my toilet here and you can see that I've drilled a series of holes in the ceiling and mark the ceiling out for a piece of strapping. A scrap piece of wood that I will secure to the ceiling and then the IKEA bookshelf will then be screwed into that strapping. It will also be screwed into the sidewall. It will be braced by uh, another piece of strapping. So I've added a Another drill bit. Please wear glasses or safety goggles when you're doing this. Off camera, I have pre-drilled and added wood screws. Now I'm going to mount the strapping to the ceiling for the unit to be screwed into. And I put them in the wrong side. <laughs> So we finally have the strapping up, uh, the screws are in, it's very secure to the ceiling. I feel like I could hang off of it, but I'm lightweight. However, the bookshelf is probably my weight. We definitely want to make sure it's secured to the wall because I don't want it falling off and hitting me in the head when I'm on the toilet. Nor would you. Oh, one other thing. This is a scrap piece of wood and it won't be seen. It's simply for a uh, spacer and to attach. So I'm not worried about the look of it. I'm not even going to paint it. It's so far from the reveal or the edge that you won't be able to see it. It's day two in my bathroom remodel and I have marked out the area around the second strapping that will hold the bookcase above the toilet. However, I need to find a stud. <laughs> One of my favorite tasks. Today I'm finding a stud in the wall so I can secure this bookcase with the second strapping. I'm taking a hammer and a nail and I'm hammering it in and if it hits something solid, I'll know that's where I need to secure the strapping. Okay, I've located three studs. One, two, and three. Now that I've located the studs, I've drilled holes in my strapping and I'll be able to screw directly into the stud. Just getting my screws started first into the pre-drilled holes and now I'll mount it into the studs. Hi guys, you can see that I have put up temporarily the bookcase. It's a dry fit. 
meaning I haven't affixed it with any nails or screws yet, but it is sitting in place between the spacer and the new piece of strapping tightly against the wall and the strapping here. Now that it is sitting in place, I'll be able to do the strapping for the bottom, then I'll remove it, clean it, drill pilot holes for the side and for the bottom, and then it will be mounted to the wall securely. Final install for the back of the mirror for this cabinet. I've added a third piece of strapping in the center of the back wall in order to press the mirror in the center without cracking it and securing it to the wall with a caulking gun and caulking adhesive. And here we go. Perfect. That is not going anywhere. Hey guys, it's finally reveal day here and you'll see there's a series of details in such a small space. So let me start with the fabric panels beside me. So what I chose to do was to not continue a mounted rod from wall to wall because I thought it would be distracting. These draw the eye up to the ceiling to our feature. In a small space it's important uh, to have visual interest. What I love about this feature is not to be afraid of adding details to a small space. Even though this space was small to begin with, these curtains act as a visual barrier to some of your toiletries that would be left in the bathtub at all times, meaning your shampoo and your conditioner and those sort of things. What I like about these curtains is they were bought used as a pair and I simply had them customized in the measurement from ceiling to floor. Especially in a small space, you want things to feel cohesive and yet warm and inviting. And the way to do that is to play on textures and patterns and colors and things like that. Now let's talk about uh, some other details in the room. Of course, you've seen the ceiling and the ceiling here is actually copper foil. The foil you can get from any major box store. And this particular product is meant for shelves and cupboard lining. If you were going to do this in any space, make sure you start by using the shortest wall and run the lengths parallel to that. So if your room is six by eight, start running your first piece on the six foot wall and continue onward. What a transformation. I'm standing with one of the two DIYs that uh, really transformed this bathroom and it's the IKEA bookshelf. How I've customized it is added a custom cut mirror to the back of it to reflect light. Remember this bathroom was all tile and it didn't have a second light source which is the second DIY behind me we'll see in another video. But I've added 
picture frame molding to the interior and along the edges to cover up some of those adjustment holes for the shelves now that I've decided where they need to go. I've added trim to the top and I've added this little feature which is a curtain rod for a towel rod usage. So a really cool customized feature. Now I can store my toiletries and add some decorative details that echo the rest of my home. You'll see above me is a DIY. I wanted to be able to leave a bathroom light on for some ambient lighting in the front of the apartment, but not necessarily have the bright overhead light from the vanity. This was a $5 brass wall light that I have created a custom shade for and of course added black matte painted finish. You could also use this DIY with an Edison bulb and no lampshade at all. Behind me you'll see a piece of art. We have a local Montreal artist who uses wood carving and gold gilding and what better place to have a cock other than the kitchen than in the bathroom. Well thanks guys. Uh, that's a wrap for this bathroom edition, but stay tuned for the next film where uh, you'll see some DIY projects including the lampshade used in this video. Well, there might have been some videos shot in my bedroom from time to time, but I don't ever recall shooting a video at any time in my life in the bathroom. Well, that's a wrap guys. Thank you for tuning in. You have seen my bathroom transformation and if you need one or an artist who want to be a part of this project, feel free Free to reach out to me, share, like, and subscribe below. You can reach me at mr.robert.bates on Instagram. From my bathroom, my home in our city, I'm Robert. Je suis Robert à ma maison et notre ville. A tantôt. Bonsoir. Good night, goodbye. <laughs> Until next time. Good night, goodbye.